If you're joining us for the first time today, we're hanging out in downtown Saskatoon and we're taking the opportunity to catch up with Canadian actor Justin Rain, who's in Saskatoon today. Thanks so much for joining us again, Justin. What's up? <laughs> not much. Not much has changed in the last 10 minutes since we had you on last. But we're really excited to have you here because uh, we're talking about this Canadian series which is set on a fictional, uh, in a fictional Aboriginal community. It's called Blackstone. Tell us a bit about uh, the show itself. Uh, well, it's an original drama series based on a reserve fictional called Blackstone. Um, and it just, it's a story about the politics on the reserve, um, life, you know, the poverty that some people go through, um, drug addiction, alcoholism, and, you know, the lighter side of life, you know, the people that stand against all of this stuff and try to make change for the better. Uh, my character, I play Alan Fraser, chief of Andy Fraser, the corrupt evil chief, as I call him. Yes. Uh, but I take from my mother's side, so okay. I'm a good kid. And uh, yeah, I don't know, that's, that's a little bit about the show. Yeah, it's doing really well, multi-award winning, nominated TV show. It's won a couple Geminis, it's won a couple Leos. Uh, it's done really well in Canada. Season two is about to start. I guess it's going to premiere on APTN uh, on January 11th. Now, from what I understand, last season left off with a major cliffhanger. Yeah. What, what, can you tell us what happened? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you don't have to tell us what happens in the premiere, but uh, what happens in the cliffhanger? Well, what, what happens in the cliffhanger? What, what happens? I'm not sure what happens. I haven't seen it yet. I haven't been oh, fortunate haven't enough it? to see okay. the show. Well, my dad walks into an office and you hear two gunshots and then, you know, the credits roll. Oh. That's, okay. that's, that's all I can say. Okay, so um, we're not That's sure what happens. happens. Um, you know, I know, but... Maybe maybe if you tune in we on, watch on, it. on the 11th, you'll find out we what happens and see what trouble my father's getting into this season. Um, that sounds yeah. good. Cool. Well, from what <laughs> I understand, uh, the show has sort of the who's who of Canadian Aboriginal talent, including Andrea Menard, who is uh, obviously from Saskatoon, recently moved well, up to Vancouver as well. Yes. Uh, what's it like working with Andrea? Andrea's I'll awesome. Um, she plays my mother. Uh, your mother? Yeah, she plays my mother. She's not old enough to be your mother. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she was saying the same thing when season yeah. one aired. She, we first met each other, and uh, well, like we have a lot of mutual place? friends, but... Yeah, I was, we, we kind of laughed know. about it. And she's like, what? Yeah, You're my right. son? <laughs> How old am I? <laughs> when did I have this kid? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, working with Andrea is great. Working with everyone on the show is great. Um, you know, I like to think that, that we have the best First Nations talent on the show. And, you know, that, that feels good to be a part of that. Um, it feels good to be a part of the show, period, because I, there, there is no show like it out right now. Mm. Um, and it carries a strong message, you know, for, for Aboriginal people and people outside of the demographic as well and, and just kind of shines a light on, on Native communities that, I don't know, just Native Aboriginal life on reserves that, that people don't necessarily know about. You know, it's... It's probably, I mean, where am I going with this? <laughs> you know, I like to, I've referenced it too before in the past to kind of like a newer modern day North of 60. Oh, okay. um, I'm sure a lot of people are familiar with that show. Definitely. But, you know. Are you hungry? Um, the Canadian classic? Yeah. I guess this one sounds a bit more edgy than that though. From what I understand, it's, it's intense, it's dramatic. Uh, it's not a lighthearted show. It deals with real issues. It's very explicit. Um, it's heavy drama, you know, yeah, and, and that happens, you know, and it, it's it's a controversial series and, you know, I like to tell people that come at me with the argument that, hey, you know, this is shining a negative light on our people. No, it's not because there's there's an equilibrium between the two, you know, the good and the bad. Mm -hmm. You know, there's there's just as much positive energy in the in the series, in the show, as there is negative. You know, there's people trying to stop and trying to make change for the better for the community and the people that live there, right? So um, I, th I think it's inspiring, it inspires me, you know? That's, that's one of the reasons why I work with youth and talk with them about the work that I do on the show and you know, just why I do it, period. You know, I'm expressing myself through something, so. That's awesome, yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a realistic show. There's a balance of good and bad, which is like, probably important for a lot of youth 
to uh, understand, you know, that good comes with bad and vice versa. So what's really cool as well is that uh, we're not surprised the show has done so well in Canada, but it's kind of shocking that it's done so well in New Zealand. It's on Maori TV in New Zealand. Mm -hmm. uh, what did you think about that? I think it's great. You know, a funny little story. I was sitting in Gastown in Vancouver where I live and uh, at the Starbucks. I don't know if I should have said, well, let's oh, see, yeah. Starbucks, Starbucks, Starbucks. Yeah, right by Starbucks. the clock. <laughs> 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 and uh, I'm visiting with my friend and this, this elderly man comes up to me with this accent, this New Zealand accent, and he's like, excuse me. And I'm like, hi. And he's like, you're Alan Fraser <laughs> from Blackstone. And I'm like, yes, I am. And he's like, well, I'm just on vacation with my wife from New Zealand it's really nice to meet you. So I was like, wow, small world. And yeah. uh, it's really cool that the show is airing over there, right? Because they, they have a significant indigenous community as well, the Maori people. And um, yeah, I, just, I think it's great That's that, really that somebody cool. from the other side of the world recognize me. I don't know, it was kind of a cool little thing that happened. That is yeah. really cool. You never know who you're going to run into uh, at Starbucks in Gastown though. So that's really <laughs> cool that you ran into a tourist who was actually a fan. I know uh, if our viewers want to find out more about the show, there's a Facebook page for Blackstone. Yeah, Blackstone the series or Blackstone and you can watch the, f the, the full first season on aptn.ca and the website for the series is blackstonetheseries.com. So, and, right. and I'm on Facebook as well if you guys want to shout out to me or ask me any questions, I'm there. So. Adam has a friend. <laughs> we'll be doing that as soon as we get back to the office. <laughs> Thanks for joining us today, Justin. It's been great to find out about the show and about the wonderful cast. And good luck with your future. Keep on doing the work with the kids. That's so great. Thank you. All right. Local. 24-7. Events. Current. Connected. Weather. News. Only on Shaw TV.